For more on this story, let's bring in Fakim Bang. He's the founder and CEO of Strategic Pan Indo-Pacific Arena, and he's joining me live from Kuala Lumpur. Has he, in fact, exhausted his appeal process, or are there any other recourses he could take now? With regards to Najib Raza, if we were to look at all the attempts, the legal attempts, or even political attempts that he has been attempting, Obviously, he will exhaust all avenues that are possible in order to liberate or free himself. But that having been said, Malaysia is a country that is based on rule of law and the likelihood of an appeal is not very strong and encouraging at all. Fa, what about the reaction from the public, his supporters or his detractors? What has been said uh, since this has been, this news broke? Well, Malaysia has been generally very quiet in the sense that we feel that the legal process has been uh, taken to the fullest extent possible. And people in general are very happy and quite satisfied with the current unity government that is administered by the Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim uh, in collision with other political parties. So this particular legal sentence did not hit Malaysians as much as the legal sentence about seven or eight months ago where he was actually put in jail. And what about with regards to a deterrent? Is there the belief uh, in Malaysia now that this kind of corruption has been rooted out or is there still a bit of a sentiment that perhaps this could still be going on? Well, that's an excellent question because corruption will never end, not unless you actually nip it from the butt. And this kind of corruption did not just emerge out of nowhere. It has been in the ecology of Malaysia and all across Southeast Asia, if not the rest of the world, which is why we have the Panama, Panama Papers. And when it comes to anti-corruption, and a very good example being the United States, uh, it will always have to be an enduring and persistent effort, non-stop. And just finally, uh, with regards to his time in prison, have we heard any response from Razak himself, any reaction to this, uh, this decision? The usual trick or shenanigan that is, re that is applied or deployed by anyone in the political arena when they are caught red-handed is to claim political persecution. And I believe that that will continue to be his uh, theatrical tactic, if I may. And that will not change for mm. what it's worth. Fa Bang, thank you for your analysis there out of Kuala Lumpur. We appreciate it.